Hello everyone and welcome to the Sport Marker and Partners YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Parsonage and today I'm going to talk to you about a Revit plugin designed by Dairoots called Paramanager. I will leave a link below to the download section of their website if you like the tool and want to grab it for yourself. If you would like to know how to download and install it in a bit more detail, you can check out the first video in this series called One Filter, which goes into a little more detail on that process. Let's get started with Paramanager. Paramanager is a free Autodesk Revit add-in to manage Revit parameters inside the project and family environments. Some of the features include create new parameters, modify existing parameters, export import parameters from Excel and shared parameter files, create edit and merge shared parameter files using the embedded shared parameters editor, add properties to parameters such as user modifiable visibility description. You could transfer and modify parameters from one source element to another and you can also connect and create shared instance parameters inside of family files. Paramanager is currently compatible with Revit versions 2017 through to 2022. So let's open the tool and talk a little bit about some of the features. Firstly again we do have a modal window here which you can double click on Paramanager to collapse it and you can continue to interact with your model in the background. Double clicking Paramanager will bring it back up. Along the top, you have got a variety of different tabs available to you. Parameters, categories, transfer, families, and shared editor. All of these tabs sound like they are doing roughly the same thing, but there are subtle differences between the way that the parameters get added. And this is where having a good understanding of a tool can really work in your favor. Let's start off with parameters. Parameters is for project-wide parameters. You can add new ones here individually or via a shared parameter file and newly created parameters will be added to your project parameters list. For example, if I wanted to just create a simple parameter, I can say add parameter and I can double click here to immediately give it a name. Desk material, for example, I can define the discipline, the type, the group under instance versus type. I've got an additional attributes drop down here, which I can also tick to give me more options. I can control the visibility of the parameter. Can the user actually see it at all? I can give the parameter a description. And once I'm happy with the changes, I can click next. If I look at my desk material row, I will have the ability to add the category that I want it to be connected to. Say okay, and then I can click apply to add that parameter. And if I go and have a look, at my furniture, I will see that I've got the desk material available to me. And if I hover over it, I get the description that I added. I can also add multiple parameters via a shared file. From my shared parameter file, I can tick the parameters that I would like and I can import them. I can control all of the information that I could previously. Once I have added them, I can click next. Here, I can define the categories required. Once I've chosen them, I can click apply. All of those parameters will get added to those items. As mentioned, this method adds these parameters to your project parameters list. Next up, I have the ability to transfer parameters between two families. This actually adds the parameter to the family itself not just the instance of the family. So all types of that family will be affected. I have two ways of selecting which family I would like to take the parameter from. Firstly, I could select a drop down here and I could choose the family from the list. Alternatively, I can use the select family option and physically click on the element that I would like to extract parameters from. Here, I could tick whichever parameters I wanted to copy. And on the right hand side, I've got the available list of all the families loaded into my project. In this case, I'm going to tick M desk and I'm going to click apply. I'm going to close down the report. And if I click on my desk, I will see that I have dot SP code. And if I go to my type properties, I've got the inlet diameter. As mentioned, what that has done is physically added it to the family. So if I go into the family itself, I will have those two parameters available to me. These parameters do not get added to your project parameters list. Finally, we have got the families tab. Families allows you to add parameters to certain families only, not project wide. 
these do not get added to your project parameters list. So for example, I could tick the desk and I could go ahead and I could add parameters to this family, either via the import export method, or I could physically type out the names of the parameters. I will use the import method. Once I've chosen the parameters, I can say apply, close the warning box, have a look at my desk and notice my parameters get applied only to that item and also to all types of that family. That is some of the basic functionality of the tool when working inside the project environment. Now let's go into the family environment. I have chosen a family in this case, which contains nested families as well. So we can have a look at that interaction. You'll notice that from the die roots tab, I have a parent manager available here inside of my family mode. Notice that when I open it up, the tabs are slightly different and I can always untick show existing parameters to get a fresh parameter list. These parameters are a replication of what is inside your family types. Things work the same way here. Parameters will add the parameter to your host family. I can do it via an import or I can add the parameters and name them individually. For this example, I am going to bring in one particular parameter, insulation type, and I'm going to import that and I will apply it. In my family types, I can see that it has been created. A very common occurrence is for me to go to my nested items and associate parameters back to the host. That insulation type parameter is existing inside this nested part, but it is not associated to anything at this stage. After loading in that parameter into my document, I can now associate the two using Power Manager. If I go to the nested instance tab, I will get a list of all of the items that are nested into this host model. When I click on the elements, I will get a list of the parameters that they have inside of them. Notice I have my insulation type parameter here, and I would like to connect it to a family parameter that I created called insulation type. Click apply. If I now close my parent manager and I have a look at that nested element and I scroll down to the bottom, I can see that my insulation type is now associated to the insulation type from the host. If I go and input a value, I will see that that value is carried through to the nested item. Power Manager is a fantastic tool for dealing with parameters, either quickly adding them, modifying them, or even associating them in the family environment. Just as I finished putting the video together, DiRoots released an update 1.3.0. I just wanted to go over two really nice features that they have included in this update quickly. When I add parameters, either via my import or just individually, and I go to my next section, which is applying the categories. Here they have given a drag and drop feature of the categories from one parameter to the next. For example, parameter one, if I just say that I want it to be attached to all of these rather than have to apply all of those categories again to this parameter. I can simply click and hold on the categories icon here, drag it to the one below and apply all of the same categories to that new parameter. Click apply to make those changes. The next change that I wanted to show happens inside of the family environment. What Dyroots has given us the ability to do here is add parameters to the nested parts from inside your host model. If I go to nested families, for example, there's a piece here called socket nested. If I tick on socket nested, I can import shared parameters or I can just create parameters directly into the nested item itself without having to actually enter the nested item and create the parameters from there. I can tick the parameters that I want, import them, click apply. And if I select that item, I will find that under the other, it has added those five parameters. And if I go into that family and into the family types, I will see that they have been created. That is everything that I wanted to show you for the para manager tool. I will leave all the links down below in the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.